Good morning, Meshack. It is Thursday, July 13th, and if I'm being honest with myself, this video should not exist. Why shouldn't this video exist? This video shouldn't exist because I told you that it wouldn't. A few weeks ago, I made this big dramatic deal about how I was probably going to be leaving Sam and Meshack, and it's kind of still true, but I'm addicted to making videos. And it's not that I'm addicted to making videos, it's that I'm addicted to making videos and uploading them to this channel, because I am still making videos on the Sam experiment, which you should go subscribe to right now. But I think there's a part of me that is a little sad about not uploading videos to Sam and Meshack, and so I'm I'm doing it, I'm continuing to do it for now. I, I've been doing this forever, and I kind of, I wear that, you know, badge of honor that I haven't missed a week for two and a half years with a little bit of pride. And part of me is like, oh, I can just keep doing this forever and ever. But another part of me knows that that's kind of silly. Like, it, I don't have to do this forever and ever, especially as I take on other projects, other video projects, other projects for Sam and Meshack. So I have a favor to ask you. Uh, if you could leave in the comment section saying that you hated me and didn't want a video from me for next week, that would be great. Uh, you know, it's not every day that I ask for hate comments, so now's your opportunity. Another thing that I wanted to discuss, which I don't think that I've discussed with this channel or with any other channels, I just haven't discussed it online yet. So I was leaving work from like a crazy depressing day for whatever reason and I was just kind of walking by the Washington Monument uh, and I was going back home to the bus feeling much better. This was when the air quality was terrible, which is part of the reason I think I was feeling terrible that day. Uh, but I was walking back to my bus and I saw two people handcuffed together. One person was wearing a woman for Trump shirt and the other person was wearing a pro-abortion shirt or pro-choice shirt. Uh, I forget which it was. And I was like, huh, that's a little bit weird. And then I noticed that someone was filming them and I kind of knew what was going on. They were making a YouTube video. So being a YouTuber myself, I kind of made a comment in passing like, oh, are you guys making a YouTube video? And they're like, yeah, we are. I said, what's the project? They said, handcuffing myself to a liberal for 24 hours. So anyways, they're like, do you want to shoot something real quick? I say yes. And uh, suddenly I I'm in the middle of a debate with this guy about abortion. I'm in a debate with the conservative about abortion. And I don't really want to make a video about that right now, not just because abortion is kind of a bummer subject in general, but also because it's uh, pretty nuanced and, you know, I want to make sure that I give it the proper attention if I'm going to make a dedicated video for it. But anyways, I started debating him and I think that things went pretty well. There was a pretty severe disconnect. I was trying to make an argument about consciousness and he wanted to like uh, corner me into one about viability and kept on talking about viability. But like I said, things went perfectly fine, I think. I think I was completely reasonable, but I'm kind of nervous and I have a suspicion that when his video comes out, uh, he's gonna edit it and make it look like I'm saying something that I'm not or make it look like I'm saying something stupid uh, So I will have my eyes out for that video to see if he chops me all up And you know what credit where credit is due if he decides to uh, Put out the whole thing as is I think I will look fine I'll stand by what I said, but like I said I am just a little suspicious of it mostly because I've taken a look at this guy's channel His name is Bo Diddle in case you want to check it out yourself and he does not represent the opposition in the best of faith from what I've seen. So why am I talking about this? I'm talking about this because if his video comes out and he is lying about what I'm saying and misrepresenting me and saying that, you know, I want to stab two-year-olds or whatever, I'm going to challenge him on that. And I'm going to want to have a public discussion with him where I can be in my home base and I can record using my setup so he can't control the narrative. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Also, as a side note, just because I think it's relevant and I want it to be out there, the whole I handcuffed myself to a liberal for 24 hours thing, I see how that could be an exciting project, but based on a little teaser he released about the project, it seems like he just paid this guy and hired him off Craigslist, and I don't want to be mean to this person, but he did not seem the best equipped from what I saw of him to defend liberal viewpoints on most topics. So I guess we'll all just have to wait and see. I could pay $8 to see his video right now, but I don't really want to give him money. But in case this turns into a big drama and there are debates about it on my other channel and blah, 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 I just wanted to uh, send this out to my kind of biggest audience. So yeah, this video shouldn't exist and it does exist. 
and in it I talk about how I got like street interviewed by a conservative guy about Embo- So this video- So yeah, this video shouldn't exist, and it does exist, and in it I talk about how I got street interviewed by some conservative YouTuber about abortion. Alright, peace out. Meshach, Schmackers, I'll see you next week. Or the, the week after that.